was the day before my birthday and the weather was somewhere between winter and spring. So I laid out a long burgundy dress and a gray sweater. I finished my outfit with a white clay palm bow in my braided hair and my white Puma sneakers that I got for Christmas. Although the grass was green and the flowers were blooming, the wind was high and the temperature was cool and crisp. As I sit and type the script I'm currently reading, I wonder if it's all the books I've been reading or the journaling that has led me to narrate this way. But I kind of like it. Do you? In a park nearby, I decided to take a stroll, admire the flowers, and walk in the grass. I then took a seat on a bench, carefully looking for any bugs that may be using the space as their home or any bird poop that did not get washed away by the rain. It was planned ahead of time that I would write positive words for myself in my journal to read the day of my birthday. Later that night, I did a little bit of self-care to prepare for my birthday. I painted my nails in black and used for the first time in probably 10 years a face sheet mask so that I may look my best on my day. Today is my birthday. I am 32 years old and as I get older, I feel like time just flies. Everything is moving so quickly. Also, being an adult also means there is no one to create the magic for you. It is up to you to create your own magic. Hence, as I was currently setting the scene to continue on my main character vibe, I had no idea the surprise I was going to get. have to create the magic all on your own maybe there will be someone there to help and together that magic can be even greater Switch hands. Switch hands too? Yes. But I'm 23. That's why you gotta take a picture saying 23 first. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now we must switch it. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> it left my leg. If I left my leg, this oh. No, I think. Try to get my hand do that. Do what? Then? Up. Up. Not forward. <laughs> Don't tell me your nails pocket. I don't have nails. So what pocket? Mm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We get a few now. I'm just two. No, I like this little Okay, I got like no. I'm trying to make my go up, baby. Look, look, look. Just a long apple bottom things in the bed. <laughs> Not my favorite one. The instruction that it says is safe. Put it away from your mouth. And I know you want to take it towards you. No, but not they like you. I know. It's gonna be like so. Yeah, and the thing up on and yeah, towards you. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to go up. Huh? I don't know how to make noise. <laughs> Grab it. <laughs> oh shit, I turned it around. Oh, God. Don't. Read it. Um, it's like train tickets. We, my name, your name, Ogon. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Happy birthday. What? I was completely surprised by that, especially knowing that our electric bill was really, really high this month. I wasn't expecting anything at all. We even said that we weren't going to like exchange gifts because if you guys didn't know, my boyfriend is also born in March, like a couple of days before me. So what? What I had planned for the day and I... I think I even told someone this when I was like on Twitch, like I was just going to get dressed up, make myself feel pretty and I was going to go for a walk on Paris and just be like a tourist, maybe get some Starbucks or bubble tea or something, but I'm actually going to spend probably half of my morning or afternoon packing and I'm still in shock because I, I don't know how, I don't know like when this happened and <sighs> so yeah, I'm going to have to go clean this mess up because y'all see me take my time, put it up, make it look pretty for the pictures and everything. So by the way, you can see the pictures up on Instagram, I'll post a few here. But, um, yeah, I'm just speechless. Wow. I can't ask for a better boyfriend.
Okay, so far I have pajamas, bras. These are actually sportswear because we're planning on doing at least two days of gym um, for a reason. I'm probably going to tell it to you in the next vlog. And I haven't picked like which outfits I want to wear yet on the day of going and coming back. But I know I have my like simple hoodie and I know... This is something I want to walk with because you could put it over anything, but also it's comfortable. So I'm thinking this to go and to come back for the trip. And then I have just like these black, mm, it's not silk, but like it's a mix fabric that I bought by Action. It wasn't expensive at all. And it's also comfortable. Then I have this shirt, which looks super like not dirty but it has a bunch of lint and i think that it's because i either wash it or wear like a new hoodie on it and it's like the fur of the hoodie that's like all over it so i just have to pass the thing over it but like black shirt simple jeans um i think these are like the mom jeans type of thing giving that you know we're going into that kind of spring-ish vibe and this could also be paired either because if it's get cold with the sweater or this jean jacket then underneath and it's kind of messy <laughs> underneath that i have another outfit which is a uh, white t-shirt and i'm gonna like actually put it in a knot like so and i have like this long blue like turquoise kind of dress that i kind of want to wear also but it's really depending on the weather and i'm really hesitating on this one i'm really not sure about this one but it would be so cute i think and then lastly i have this one which is also like a it's, it is a dress it's just not as long has a bunch of flowers on it i think it's perfect for spring and then i paired it with this jacket that's what i'm thinking for now but i know the items could be mixed and matched and i probably might <laughs> add an extra outfit outfit just in case okay i'm finished packing kind of we still have a few things that we might put in a suitcase in the morning but the bigger part is done um, but I just kind of wanted to share what I wrote yesterday. I kind of wrote something really general in my journal. Um, it's just like, you know, as a YouTuber, I feel like me included, but I know a lot of people always show like the best side of stuff like to you guys. I'm not the type to go and edit a video where you would see me break down or anything like that. So keep in mind, you know, like I'm just saying that, for example, I got good news today. I got a ticket to go to travel, but that's not something that I think about. It's not something that I could plan a, like plan ahead like that. Like it takes a lot of planning. It takes a lot of saving money. Um, those type of things and as I already told you guys I don't have like a nine to five type of job I am looking for one desperately and didn't find any um, it's just I think it's just kind of complicated right now but I'm not going to go into all the details unless you want me to and if so just add your comment down below and I'll answer you I'll give you the details or what's not it's not a problem it's not something that I'm trying to hide um, but yeah I just kind of wrote something general to like Something that I probably would put in words to tell a friend or someone who's close to me or even a stranger, you know, I would put those words together, but I wouldn't actually look in the mirror and tell those, like say those things to myself. Generally, when I look at myself or I think to myself, these aren't the kind words that I say to myself, but it should be. And I'm trying to heal my myself emotionally and physically to be able to say these things to myself and not feel like you know not enough 
And I know the not enough is kind of general because a lot of people use it out there like that, but that's not what I mean. I know I'm rambling, but I think it's important for me to say this. Again, you guys won't see me when I break down, when I'm down on my knees, praying, asking, you know, all of these things. You, I think you would hardly ever see that from me. I'm going to be honest. I don't think that I can edit a video and put it out like that, even though it's a natural thing. I feel like if I have to edit it and put it out there, it's kind of just be kind of fake. Not saying that those who do it, like it's not real. So I'm just leaving you guys know from now. So yeah, um, so I'm just going to read it to you guys and then show you guys, you know, some clips here and there in between of us, you know, going to our destination and I'll leave the rest for like the next vlog. Dear self, I know sometimes it can feel like everyone is moving forward and you are stuck. It may even feel like instead of moving forward, you are moving backwards. However, that fear of being left behind can only cloud your judgment. Give yourself a break. Stand still for just a moment. Bring back that focus, the fire, the light that shines in you and use it. Remember what you've been through, where you came from, and what you did, and what you can do. Your experience is your story, and no one can tell it better than you because no one has lived it like you. You chose the path you are on. Sorry, you chose the path you are on. Now it's time to own it. Fight with all your might to overcome any obstacle thrown your way. Find a happy ending or beginning to your story. That's it. I know it's super general, but there's a lot of things in between the lines. And I'm not really looking to prolong this video. It's just that, again, this year I feel like I'm going to be more open and vulnerable with you guys about certain things. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's all I have. And I hope that obviously these works, words speak to some of you out there who are going through something, but who are just, you know, maybe trying to live your life through someone else's, um, video, movie, series, TV. Cause yeah, I mean, even myself right now, I'm playing Dreamlight Valley and I kind of I'm projecting like some of the things on my character like in a sense that you know it's easy to go and pick up flowers and sell the stuff and get the money and I'll be able to decorate my house however I want or you know buy pretty clothing in the Scrooge's store <laughs> all of those stuff so yeah anyways if you sit through all of that then good job thank you for listening and don't forget to like comment and subscribe because it would really help me out so yeah i need i really need to work on stop saying so yeah but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one bye